right, all right, all right. Shalom, shalom. It's the brother Zachariah. I come back to you with another uh, highways and byways lesson. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the others of the nation of Israel. Shalom to you brothers out there that are laboring, enduring the elements, making your body a living sacrifice while trying to sell your leg, and making your calm election sure. To the sisters out there that are learning, listening, applying, being obedient to your husband. Shalom. All right. Now, this is actually not a lesson, but it's probably more of like a quick update before I do get started with the lesson. And I just want to um, tell everyone, you know, like, uh, in case you was wondering, like, um, Saturday, I had only did, like, one lesson. Because I normally do multiple lessons on Saturday. That's just something, you know, it's one of my off days. So I'm like, you know, I try to get in maybe at least two or three lessons in, you know, whatever, you know, the spirit leads. However, I was sick, man. I was sick all last week. Uh, I don't know if it was, like, food poisoning or something. Um, but uh, I ate something, and it... Uh, it didn't sit well with my body, but it had me jacked up the whole week. So even though I pushed myself to come out and do that one lesson, I had multiple lessons set up to do. And when I got done with the lesson, man, I had to, I had to like take a seat and sit down for a second on a bench. And I sat there for like maybe 10 minutes, man, to just catch my breath. I felt really exhausted. I don't even know, like, I was trying to backtrack and see what I ate, and this is why it's very important to watch what you eat. Like, and I and I eat healthy. However, that doesn't mean you know Esau don't tamper with the food. Anyways, he could he could tamper with something, and it says non-GMO on the label. So you know, it's just you know we're in this man's kingdom, man. So you know that's why we just gotta just continue, uh, you know, doing the work, and um, you know just. Uh, being obedient unto Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, you know, we, you know, and, and just pray, you know, that he sent his son to, you know, take this place out because it's oppressing, man, and the stuff that we have to endure, you know, it tells you in Ezekiel that you'll eat the foul bread, so, you know, I, I think I ate something bad, it could have been bad fish because um, I, I switched over to a different brand and then um, I ended up like buying this, um, the same brand the following week, I cooked it all the way through. You know, as the instruction said, I got to smelling it. And, I mean, like I said, it looked good and everything, but when I smelled it, it had a weird smell to it. And I threw it away. I, I mean, you know, I was like, man, I'm not going to eat this fish because I felt like if I ate that, that probably would have done the same thing. Like, it really was hurting my body. And But, uh, like, I, I've been, like, drinking, like, some uh, these medic medicated, like, teas, you know, with the uh, ginger and all that in it. And just really trying to cleanse my body out and um, to get over it. But um, I ate some cereal this morning and I've been, I've been trying this oat milk out because like I'm lactose, I can't mess with like dairy, a lot of dairy, it messes, messes with me. But I tried this oat milk, man, and it, it's been having me jacked up again today, like almost like the same feeling. So I don't know if it's probably that milk or, or something, maybe it was that instead of the fish, I don't know. Uh, but either way, man, I just, I've been feeling jacked up today. But, you know, I said I was going to push myself to come out and do a lesson. But I just wanted to uh, give that quick update, you know, to let people know just in case, you know, somebody starts saying something, you know, like, uh, man, we ain't seen videos all week. What's going on? You know, I'm like, hey, you know, sometimes I might not be able to get them through the week. But I'll, uh, you know, push myself and. You know, try to get a, some in uh, as many as I can, uh, you know, on the weekends or days that I'm off. Okay? All right. And then um, it was one more thing I wanted to uh, uh, say before I got, in, got into today's or tonight's lesson. Is uh, I, I was watching a brother's video, man, and the brother had went into, like, uh, it's so lucky for the noise. Somebody's doing some work across the street uh, or on, over here, you know working on this building but there was a brother that did a lesson I guess he was rebuking this one brother but uh you know and what I noticed in the video was like he had said something about uh you know uh he said Jake probably don't even like really know the scriptures he's probably got them written on his arm and he said we come out here with no paper or a pen you know just by the spirit you know off top you know the mind and I don't know, like, him saying that kind of rubbed me the wrong way because I'm like, 
you know, for example, I got, I got my notepad with all my notes. I like to be organized when I do my lessons, you know, and um, that doesn't mean, because he said clearly, you know, the Lord ain't dealing with you or something, and so, I mean, I felt some kind of way because I'm like, hey, I write my stuff down, you know, and I just feel a little bit more prepared and organized, you know, when teaching, you know, and that doesn't mean that the Lord's not dealing with you, you know, um, there's been plenty of signs. I've done a lot of lessons, and then I, I'll see like maybe two or three, maybe four brothers, you know, and, and we don't know each other or anything, no contact, but I'm like listening, and like they might have touched on the same subject, or we brought out the same precepts and everything. So, you know, that stuff like that just lets you know, you know, uh, that uh, we're all on one accord, but uh, having uh, having your stuff written down, your lessons when you come out, that that's not, that doesn't mean that the Lord's not done with you. Uh, if anything, some brothers, everyone teaches different. They got their own way of teaching. Some can go off top. I mean, I've done it. I've done lessons where I didn't even have my mouth and, and just, you know, by the Spirit. But uh, that doesn't mean the Spirit ain't dealing with you because you write everything down. You know, uh, like I said, the way I bring my videos out, I like to have, I got certain videos, clips, articles, and I just want to make sure I cover everything. So I jot everything down in, in, a, in a order, you know. Uh, I just don't, you know, sometimes, you know, Jake can get into rebuking somebody and they can just take it a little too far and say something and it don't even really make sense, you know. But uh, there's nothing wrong with writing your stuff down. I've seen the uh, certain apostles and things like that do lessons and they would be thinking of a scripture and can't even think where the scripture's at. So they're asking, can somebody put it on a comment board or something like that? So, I mean, to avoid things like that, or for example, if you're just doing your lesson and you're trying to find a scripture, I've seen where brothers might take maybe uh, five minutes and, you know, you're just sitting there while the brother's sitting there having to search looking for the scripture. When you can have your, your stuff already pretty, you know, lined up together and prepared, you know. So, I mean, it's, it has nothing to do with, you know, coming out and just being off top of the norm. That It doesn't mean that the Lord is dealing with you or not dealing with you, you know. Um, you know, like, if I was critiquing that brother that said that, you know, uh, I've noticed he got a stutter problem. And I can say, like, man, you know, you might want to work on that or pray, you know, the Lord to take that away from you because it sound, you kind of sound like Porky Pig, you know. Uh, you know, uh, when, when you talk all the time or uh, the way that you deal with people on the streets, you know, you just yell, hey, come hear the word, you know. That's intimidating. You might, someone might feel intimidated, you know, you try to bring them in. You got to be a fisher of men and, and learn how to talk to people when you're out there witnessing. A lot of times people get too, like, uh, uh, what's the word I want to use, but really confrontational. Uh, 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 they sound hostile in, in their, the way that they speak and, and stuff like that. And then, you know, it can lead into to you uh, maybe somebody that it was meant to get. You know, and they can say, well, if it was meant for them to get the word, they would have got it. But sometimes you can offend one of Yahweh's little ones as well. You know, maybe he is one of the elect, but maybe you ran him off, so he has to get it from someone else. And that could be a judgment on you. So that's another way to look at it. You know, I, I look at things from all types of angles, aspects, everything. That's the way I do, you know, because people can say things and and they be very confident that Yahweh dealing with them. But, you know, you be looking and like, bro, like you constantly running people off, you know, so... That could be something, you know, that you might need to work on. But, you know, but it's not really getting on that, brother. It was just, but I just kind of was like, man, it has nothing to do with the fact that you have your notes. Uh, you come out with notes and, and stuff written down. You know, it, I think it's more organized, you know, that way. And uh, like I said, and I've been able to bring out good edifying lessons, you know, whether people watch them or not. You know, hey, I'm doing the work because at the end of the day, it's really... The, the number one thing is me seeking my, my own salvation by coming out doing the work. And also, I can't do lessons indoors where I live, so I have to come out, and my lessons all have to be outside, you know. So I might as well, you know, have my lessons prepared, you know, because there's brothers that prepare lessons when they're indoors, you know, at, at their homes, you know. So, But that's the same, you know, with me. But I do all my lessons that way, even when I come out. But uh, that's all I wanted to say on that. I just wanted to give that update in case anyone was wondering why, you know, like if you were being sincere about it, not someone just looking for something, you know, to, you know, ah, you know, that brother, you know, 
knew that brother wasn't right, you know, or something like that. Not one of them type of brothers, you know, but just letting you know that I wasn't, I've been under the weather, which I still am, but uh, I'm push, I push myself, man. Like I said, you know, just trying to eat right, watch what I eat. If I feel like it's something that I ate that it's causing me to feel that way, then I kind of lay back off of that. But, uh, you know, just uh, pray for me, you know, you know, send up a prayer, you know, if you get a chance to see this video and just understand, you know, you know, brothers and brothers do get sick and things like that happen. But uh, that's all I want to say on that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get into this lesson here. All right, y'all. Shalom, shalom.